In tonight's Medical Watch, a non-invasive approach to a life-changing injury. Medical reporter Dina Bear explains how a local clinic is making progress for patients with quadriplegia. On the Medical Watch, an extraordinary step forward in the treatment of spinal cord injuries. For the patients who come through the door of this clinic in southwest suburban Willow Springs, it takes tremendous effort. There we go. There we go. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yep. But it's worth it. We are really living out our mission here at Next Steps, which was to provide access to technology at a community level. Good there. Okay. Barry Rubenstein has been living with quadriplegia for 14 years. It's okay if I move your hair. Yep. The result of an infection and subsequent hematoma that damaged the nerves in her spine. Yeah, I never thought in my lifetime I would get this opportunity. It's access to this device that's giving Barry some hope. Is able to bridge an electrical gap and cover that injury so that new pathways within the spinal cord can create movement. Electrical nerve stimulation is not new, but the ARC-X is non-invasive. It delivers pulses from electrodes placed on the skin that amplify weakened signals from the brain. The stimulation helps restore muscle activation below the site of injury, which is often blocked. Barry's injury is right at the C3, C4 level. So I am putting this electrode right above her, the area of her injury, and then I'm gonna put another one down below so that the stimulation bridges that area of the injury. Once the leads and electrodes are all connected. And then I go ahead and start the stimulation and it gradually ramps up in her body. Are you feeling some of the? I can feel it. She can, so now she can feel it. As the stimulation activates the muscles. Push down, push down. There we go, good. Clinic director Mary Jones reinforces the movement. We pair that with um, retraining, learning how to remove for those persons with spinal cord injury and that device helps make that connection that was once lost with spinal cord injury. Tell me what you, are you feeling at your shoulder level? I, I don't know what I'm feeling, but I am feeling something. Okay. That something means everything to patients. I have better breath support, which is huge, because a lot of times people can't hear me, so I'm trying to amplify my voice more. Even people with chronic injuries are seeing gains with this. So people um, 14 years out, you know, you think at 14 years, what, what's out there for me? This device couldn't be that device. Come forward. At Next Steps, Trevor Hayden takes steps without the device. It's a significant struggle. It's so choppy because I'm like, there's like three, you know, separate motions. We see where your baseline function is, and then we'll try to stimulate uh, stimulation and re-measure where baselines are. Is this being effective for you? The 33-year-old, paralyzed in a truck accident eight years ago, travels nearly three hours twice a week so he can access the new stimulation system. The pulse that it delivers is almost, it, you can feel it kind of spreading and it's not just like kind of directed right where the pad per placement is. This feeling of like kind of waking things up in a way. Much easier. The steps with the device are more fluid and take less effort. It just feels like everything's kind of pulled together. The care provided here is a labor of love, born from loss. John O'Connor was 30 years old when he hit his head after jumping off a dock. He got paralyzed, C4, C5, very high level. All he had was use of his right bicep. But the injury did not deter his tenacity. In the years following his accident, John worked tirelessly to build a nonprofit clinic that offered fellow patients the most promising treatments. Come on, give it to me. There you go. To improve movement and strength. And even though some things wouldn't benefit himself, he saw the value that it would have for others and, and fought for that. Now, his family continues the fight. John passed away in 2013, 12 years after his injury, due to the secondary effects of his paralysis. We really want to be able to give our patients the most technologically advanced equipment. And at that time, and still to this day, a lot of things are reserved for clinical trials. Not at Next Steps, where technology like the Onward device is up and running for all those who may benefit. To me, it feels like my muscles are like 
waking up. You know, for a long time, there was nothing. I wish John could be here to see this. This is exactly what he would have fought for. And the fact that we have it now is just really exciting for our patients. And I get emotional about it because there's brilliant people, brilliant scientists out there coming up with these type of devices and to see it come and change people's lives and being part of that is a really big gift. An at-home unit is in the works. The device maker hopes to have that available in 2026. Back to you.